Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Saturday, the 29th day of January 2022. And our topic for today is Demands of a Christian Life. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, the Great and Mighty One, the Controller of the whole universe, the King above all kings, we come before you today and we bow in reverence of your holy name. We thank you for the gift of life and for your blessings too numerous to count. Father, we say thank you. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. We've come to seek your face. Your word says those who seek you early would find you. We ask that you would reveal yourself to us as we study. Let our lives be true expressions of the Christian life. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of John chapter 15 verse 8. John 15 verse 8 reads, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruits, so shall ye be my disciples. John chapter 15 verse 8. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20. Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20 reads, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Praise God. In our devotional today, our Father and the Lord is telling us there are a lot of blessings occurred to genuine Christian living, but these do not come without some obligations on the part of the Christian. For example, the peace of God that passes all understanding is one of the benefits of Christian living, just like divine healing or divine health, according to Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15 and 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24. However, we must meet certain demands before we can assess these blessings. One of such demands is fruit-bearing. The lifestyle of a genuine Christian must show that the fellow has truly repented and forsaken his or her sins. John the Baptist in Luke chapter 3 verse 7 to 8 told those who claimed to have repented to bear fruit that confirm repentance. It reads, then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. This fruit bearing also includes soul winning, as Jesus stated in John chapter 15 verse 8. It reads, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruits, so shall ye be my disciples. To bear fruit through soul winning requires preaching the gospel according to our Bible reading today. A Christian worthy of his or her calling must make soul winning a priority. As a matter of fact, the proof that you are a disciple of Jesus Christ is to harvest the souls he came to die for. A Christian will not allow the passion of the death of Jesus Christ to be in vain. We must also praise him, as the Bible says, in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 which reads, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The most important demand upon a Christian is holiness. Once we have become Christians, we must separate ourselves from all ungodly activities and relationships. The Bible says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17 Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 says, You should be perfect even as our Lord is. May the Lord grant you the grace to be perfect in Jesus' name. And we say a resounding Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless his word to us today. Hallelujah. We are still considering the topic demands of a Christian life. Yesterday we saw the topic mysteries of a Christian life and we learned some of the mysteries of a Christian life to include first of all 
the transformation and the turning around of that man where all things become new. Scripture says there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. We also learnt another mystery to be the gift of a brand new existence in the Holy Spirit. We begin to bear his fruits. We also learnt that living the Christian life also involves being under a new management, which is the management of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then another mystery of the Christian life is that he is given a new garment. He trades the old one, where you have murmurings, complaints, ill health, lack and want and the rest of them, and he receives a new garment of praise, divine health, divine provisions, peace and many other goodies. The Christian life, however, does not begin until you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have repented and forsaken all your old ways. Praise God! In today's devotional, we will be considering the demands of a Christian life. It is true that salvation is free, but if we must take further steps to assess all the divine blessings made available to the Christian, then we must be ready to also play our parts. Our Father and the Lord would always say, nothing goes for nothing. In the Christian life, we have divine health, divine provisions, divine healing and the rest of them. But all of these do not come by folding of hands. They come with certain divine principles. One of such demands which we learn in our devotional today is that of fruit bearing. As children of God, God expects our lives to be fruitful. Just like we see in our memory verse today, John chapter 15 verse 8, it reads, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. You notice there that we are not even expected to just bear fruit, but much fruit. If you are seeking to glorify God, then your life must be fruitful. And what does it mean to be fruitful? When a tree produces fruit, it bears its own kind. It reproduces itself. How can this be done? This can be done through evangelism and soul winning, which our Father and the Lord mentions in today's devotional. It can also be done by letting your light shine. Scripture says that when your light shines, men would see your good works and then glorify your Father in heaven. Men can look at you and see a good example to be emulated, not one to bring shame upon the name of the Lord. In letting our light so shine before men, we are giving a testimony using our lives. And many times, this is a very powerful tool for harvesting souls to the kingdom. You never can tell that doubtful person who is sitting in the corner and carefully noticing the distinction in your life. He sees the glory of God and is overwhelmed. He is captured, transformed and also set ablaze. Hallelujah! Also, do not forget that before a tree can even bear fruit, it has to grow. So part of bearing fruit is that we mature also. We must not remain at the same level as babes when we came into the faith. We must make constant and consistent progress in our work with God, refusing the deception of past glories. Moving on, another demand upon the Christian is holiness. This is non-negotiable. And our Father and the Lord tells us today, that once we become Christians, we must separate ourselves from all ungodly activities and relationships. This is very important. Scripture says that all things are passed away. This is not only talking about our sins forgiven. It also refers to the many things that we hold dear to our hearts which we can no longer proceed with on this journey unless we let go of them. It may be quite difficult saying no to those friends and denying yourself of those lifestyles but it is definitely worth it. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17, which our Father and the Lord reads in today's devotional, tells us to come out from among them and be separate and touch not the unclean thing. Only then will we be received. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7 reads, For God had not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. He has not called us to continue in the life we used to live before. He has called us to be testimonies of His transforming power. There must be a difference. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 reads, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Another version would say we should not get entangled in civilian affairs, but rather we should try to please our commanding officer. The Lord Jesus is our commanding officer, and we must please him in all things. And we trust God today for the grace to please him in all things. We'd bow our heads now and pray a simple prayer. We'd say, Father, please help me to meet the demands of a Christian life in Jesus' name. Very simple yet powerful. 
Make it your prayer. Say, Father, grant me the grace to bear fruit. Let me bear fruit meat for repentance. Fruit that manifests growth, maturity and transformation. Ask the Lord and say, let us be passionate soul winners. The Lord Jesus said, my meat is to do the will of him that has sent me and to finish his work. Say, Father, grant us the hunger and desire to do your will. Let it be our meat in the name of Jesus. Let us be passionate for souls and let this mind guide us in all that we do. The grace to make soul winning our priority. Let it be all about Jesus and nothing else. Pray also and ask him for the grace to live a life of holiness. By strength can no man prevail. Say, Father, grant me the grace, the enablement to live a life that pleases you in holiness, to be dead to the works of the flesh and its desires. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful. We thank you for your word that you have brought to us this day. Thank you for reviving and for fulfilling in us the demands of a Christian life. We ask that the grace to bear fruits and to live in holiness be granted unto us this day. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. In our Bible in one year reading plan for today, we read the book of Exodus chapter 36 and chapter 37. Praise the Lord. We thank you for coming around today and for sharing God's word with us. We trust that you have been blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. You can bless someone today and let them enjoy this Christian life by sharing this with them. Go forth today and receive ease on your Christian journey in Jesus' name. Have a great day ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now.
believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.